Figma has been the go-to design tool for many years now, but with Framer evolving, I wanna ask the question, do we even need Figma anymore? Can we design everything that we need to do directly inside of Framer? In this video, I'm gonna break down the pros and cons of each and see if it's time to actually ditch Figma for good. So for those of you who are new to this, Figma is a design tool. It's all it can do, it is a design tool. It uses frames, auto layout to mimic real life CSS and HTML standards. So with the tools that Figma gives you, you can design any website just like this and you have every single measurement that you need to be able to build it in the real world. Okay, cool. Then comes Framer. Framer, as you can see, looks very eerily similar to Figma. Now this is probably on purpose from the Framer developers so that designers coming directly from Figma feel at home when it comes to designing and developing something. Now Framer, you can do the exact same. You can design something using the Flexbox CSS kind of thing that Figma has, but with the caveat that you can actually publish this. So if I wanted to, we can now publish this and it's a real life website. Now there's nothing on it for now, but but you can imagine that this is pretty shocking. Now, from what I just said, it looks like it's the exact same, but what are the actual core differences that make this an interesting question? Well, number one, Figma is primarily a design-focused tool. That's all you can really do on it. Now, it does have a disgustingly large community, which has a lot of different plugins, files, communities, collaboration, and prototyping tools. If we take a look at Figma's community here, we'll see that, number one, not only are they just a design tool, but they, you can also do presentations on it. And there's so many different resources. I mean, here's the iOS 15 UI kit from Joey Banks, who's an absolute monster when it comes to Figma. And so there's a really big community and it's kind of the gold standard for design and designers all around the world. Then the plugins, there's so many plugins that exist. And I use Figma every single day to number one, build websites for clients. Number two, design thumbnails for YouTube. So for example, any file or any asset that you can imagine has probably already been done inside of Figma, which can save a lot of time when it comes to designing for a client. So of course, because Framer is a little bit more new, the plugin side of things in the community is way smaller. If we just take a look at Google Trends and we type in Figma and Framer and take a look at the worldwide view of this, we'll see that obviously it's just not even compared Terrible. the size, the scale. I mean, it's the gold standard for every single company around the world. But I wanna ask, if you're a single design person, if you're a one man team, do you, number one, ditch Figma and go for Framer or do you stay with Figma and Framer? So let's take a look a little bit deeper into what we've got here. So if I was gonna build a website, or actually I'm gonna skip that, and I'm gonna go directly into this file here that I built for my course. The link is here if you guys wanna check that out, quick plug. But we can see here that we've got this section here. We got all these different, all these different things that we can take a look at. We've got the different headings, we got the different colors, the resizing options. So if I'm gonna just unlink this really quick, we can change the font to that one. I'm gonna make this maybe 20 pixels and we can see that we can actually get pretty fast. And so this is trying to emulate what real life websites do, which is that they have Flexbox and different alignment options that can help you navigate which direction you want your content to be placed. If we go into Framer here, we'll see that we have the exact same thing, but the difference is that we're actually using Flexbox actively. There's no transition that we need to do from Figma to Framer to go ahead and publish this live. If I would go ahead and publish this one, we'll see that this is a real life website. You can go to this link right now and see what's going on. You know, we can actually see that this is a real life site, which is insane. And realistically, we could have done all of the exact same things from H2s, H1s, different color styles, different gradients, anything that we want really inside of Framer directly. So in what case do we really need Figma rather than just starting to design directly inside of Framer? Quick caveat is that Right now I'm trying to upload Framer templates to actually do the template game and see how much money we can make from that. There's a video coming on that soon, by the way. But take a look at this. My designer asked if he could design directly inside of Framer rather than going from Figma to Framer because it's essentially the exact same workflow designing directly in Framer. There's no real need to go from Figma to Framer if the end point is going to be Framer. But at what point 
do you need Figma if you're not gonna be using Framer? Well, for one, very obviously, if you're gonna be using another tool like Webflow, like Squarespace, custom coding it even, or if you're gonna be developing an app, a web app, a government system that is gonna be used by millions and billions of people, then you're probably going to be needing something like Figma still. But again, if the end result is going to be a Framer website, then it doesn't really need to go from Figma to Framer. You can start in Figma directly. The only thing is that you're gonna be missing out on all the plugins and resource packs that already exist inside of the Figma world. Now, if you're gonna be going from Figma to Framer and you're a bit lost on how to do that, I actually have a video here or here you can actually take a look at how to do that in the least amount of time possible without headaches. Another thing, if you are working with teams and you have a large enterprise, then it might make sense to stay with Figma because you need a design pure tool. You need something where you can have different libraries and a lot of people are gonna be coming in and doing changes. And the point of it isn't a development it's just design. You only want to see the design and then you hand off to the engineering teams. In that case, Framer is not really even an option, right? It's only for, for design. That's all you're going to be doing. Then Framer, you could be using it to test out and to kind of do like a, a low fidelity test to see if the design makes sense. Then you can pass it off to the developer. But Figma actually has something called dev mode, which we can toggle on and off right here. I need to request access, but we can see a little bit about what we get there. So we were able to see what the developer sees, which is all the separate metrics when it comes to the design, the color, the scale, what layout we're gonna be using, everything that the developer really needs to see. In what case would I skip Figma? Now, if I was running a solo freelancing career, then I think you can skip Figma. I think that the, and this is just my opinion, so feel free to, to skip the video if you want to, but Figma, is kind of an unneeded step if you're gonna be developing directly inside a Framer. It's a good option to have a very quick design to development system. It has everything that, that you have with your typical websites where you have SEO, domains, redirects, form, staging, plans, where you can upgrade to different localizations. They're not cheap, keep that in mind. No one's saying that they're cheap, but you can kind of skip Figma and go straight into Framer. But either way, with a Framer site, if you're just designing something for a client and you can scale it to have multiple pages and different animations and all that kind of thing, then it's completely fine in my opinion to skip Figma and go straight into Framer if the client is fine with it. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of clients don't even know what Figma or Framer is. They just need a simple website, be able to manage that website, be able to change the content and the colors and whatever when they, when they have to. So that kind of decision is a little bit irrelevant for them. It's more for the designer, for the person actually creating it. But if you're with a large team, then it might make sense to not skip Figma, to stay in Figma, and forget about Framer as a design tool because it might not be the best tool for specifically designing only. It might make sense if to use Framer if you're a large team to quickly develop things and test that out. But anyways, there's a lot of different use cases for both. If you guys have any questions or any rebuttals to anything I've said, let me know in the comments because I'm really interested in what you guys think. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.